Hi, I'm Dr. Mike Bauer, and I'm here today to talk to you a little bit about the canine cranial cruciate ligament. Uh, most people know it as the ACL, anterior cruciate ligament, so that's how we'll refer to it today as the ACL. Uh, and it's a very common injury in humans. It's also a very common injury, probably the most common injury we see in veterinary orthopedics, small animal orthopedics uh, to be specific. And the first thing I'd like to do is talk a little bit about the anatomy of the ACL. And I have a couple different illustrations. One is I have this model that I'd like to show you. So uh, this is a plastic model that I'm going to kind of show you how it would sit on my knee and it would sit on my knee uh, just like that. And a couple of anatomy points is the bone above the knee. Uh, this one is the femur. The bone below the knee is the tibia. And an important concept is the top of the tibia is the tibial plateau. Uh, now we'll try to zoom in a little bit more on this. And again, the femur is above the joint. The tibia is the bone below the joint. The top of the tibia is the tibial plateau, which we'll come into a lot of discussion as we go on. The ACL sits between the two bones and connects the two bones, and it's that thin ligament that I'm touching with my little finger. That stops that motion in the joint. And then within the joint are two shock absorbers, uh, each one called a meniscus. So uh, I have one more uh, an anatomic illustration on the computer screen here, so I'd like to, like to show you. Uh, and in this, once again, we see the tibia below the joint, the femur above the joint, the tibial plateau uh, is the sloping line that we see on the illustration, uh, and then the ACL is labeled on the illustration, uh, and in this uh, illustration the PCL is shown as well. And that represents the posterior cruciate ligament or PCL. So that's uh, the quick anatomy review and so what I'd like to go to next is kind of mechanisms of how the canine ACL tears.